Hey everyone, so today I want to chat to you a little bit about the cheapest places in Ireland to buy houses. I'm only going to start with five, so I'm going to go county by county, my favourite counties at the moment for bargains, and then later on if we want to go into a little bit more detail, maybe with like specific areas of counties, townslands and stuff like that, then I don't mind doing that. But for the moment, I'm just going to start with my favourite counties where you've the best chance of finding a house for under €100,000. Okay, so the first county I want to talk to you about is Roscommon. I love Roscommon. It's the cheapest county it, by far. You know, it's the most beautiful place to drive through. I know when I was filming up in the West over the last couple of months, I drive through Roscommon so much and it's so green and it's so pretty and literally every second field has a derelict house in it. And I mean, they're big houses. These are two-story farmhouses. They're not all teeny tiny cottages like you'll see in a lot of the coastal counties. And I mean, you're talking under 50,000 for quite a lot of houses there. A lot of them are farmer farms, so they'll have like a decent amount of land, maybe an acre or more with them. And really, I think if you're struggling to buy a house, it's one of those counties where it's kind of on the way between Dublin and the West Coast. So you're not fully over into the West, you know, and there's quite good road links and stuff there. It's one of those counties that you definitely should have on your list if for no other reason other than for you to see how cheap houses can get in Ireland when you move away from the bigger cities. Okay, so the second place I want to talk to you about is Mayo. Now, again, Mayo is fantastic. It's absolutely lovely and it has the added bonus of being beside the coast. So it's one of those counties where when you see your little houses and they're under 100,000, you have the added bonus in Mayo where a lot of them are beside the sea and they've got lovely coastal views. They can be perched up on the top of a cliff or something. It's really nice. It just adds another level of value and beauty to the house that you're going to buy. And definitely, as all of the West Coast counties go, Mayo for me would be the one that I would look at the most when it comes to affordable properties. Okay, so the third one I want to chat about is Tipperary. Am I biased? I might be a little bit biased about Tipperary, but look here. This is what I love about Tipperary. It's not on the West Coast. It's not in the Northwest. It's not in the Southwest. It's slap bang in the middle of Ireland. And if you are willing to move outside of Leinster, but you're a little bit nervous about maybe going a little bit too far, or you're on your own and you don't want to be too far from family, which is exactly what I did, then Tipperary is one of the most affordable counties to live in. There are some really nice remote parts of Tipperary where houses are still well under €100,000. And there's even places where houses are a lot cheaper than they were when I bought this place which is kind of heartbreaking but it's good for you guys because you're buying right now so you need the houses to be cheap so really any part of Tipperary is good value North Tipperary is cheaper than South Tipperary so I definitely would aim for that and just you know Keep it in mind if you want to leave, but you kind of don't want to go too far away or maybe you don't have a family that's going with you. So you want to just have that little bit of a connection back to the southeast or the east, which is what I did. Um, then, yeah, definitely finding a cheap county that's slap bang in the middle of Ireland is one of those things that's extremely valuable to all of you guys. Okay, so number four, kind of not really a whole county, but I'm going to put it in here because it's such great value, okay? So I'm going to say North Cork, which is kind of weird because I said I was only going to stick to counties and not do areas, but now I'm already going into like a very particular part of a county. Cork by nature is not a cheap county. So this is why I want to be very, very specific about North Cork, right? 
Cork City is expensive. West Cork is extremely expensive. But when you go up to the north side of Cork City and you go the whole way up to the Limerick border, you start seeing houses where finished ones are 100,000 in the rural areas and derelict ones go down as far as 20 and 30,000. Now, Cork is one of those very non-threatening counties, I think, for people to think about moving to because it has a big city. It's quite good links, rail links and everything like that. But for some reason, people just rule out North Cork all the time. And I just think it's crazy. I mean, I'm in North Cork a lot because I have a friend who lives there. And I swear, it is so beautiful. There's parts of it and it's like you're driving through Connemara, except it's greener than Connemara. And I think some of the little houses that I see there are the most beautiful things. And some of the ones that are for sale are just fantastic value for Cork. And to be maybe a 40 minute... 30 minute 40 minute commute from Cork City for work it's a really really great value county really great value part of the county because obviously all of Cork is not going to be an option for everybody so North Cork okay have a look and I think you'll be really really surprised at how cheap the stuff is there okay so the last one I'm going to talk about is Leitrim. Leitrim's great because every time I look at houses, I always find houses in Leitrim. It's one of them places where 20, 30,000 euro houses crop up all the time. Lots of little farm cottages with little bits of land with them. And it's one of them places where the houses aren't always totally derelict for the price where in other counties you will see a 20 or 30,000 euro house and it will be fully derelict. Leitrim is one of them places where you get really great value if you're willing to go out of the way a little bit. And I just think if you're going up sticks and you're going to move to some other random part of Ireland, don't burden yourself by going to one of the more expensive counties. Like this is one of those counties where you could have a house for €30,000, which is the deposit most people are saving for a mortgage nowadays in the east. And think you could actually buy your house for cash in a county like this. Like it's craziness, you know? Look at Leitrim, start looking at like the little towns and stuff like that. Look at what it's close to. Maybe do you have friends there? Maybe do you know somebody that has lived there and has been able to function quite successfully, which is always a nice thing and just open your mind to it. So yeah, Leitrim, have a look. Okay, so I'm really hoping that the five counties that I've gone through are going to give you guys just a little bit of food for thought over the next couple of days. Have a look at them, you know, even like go on Instagram and look up like the sites in the different counties, you know, the really nice tourist sites. Look up photographers who take pictures of them because it's when you look at stuff like that, you start seeing some of the more amazing parts of these counties. You're not only seeing it on the news because something goes wrong or because someone's complaining about infrastructure or something. Go and look at some of the more beautiful views of the counties that I'm mentioning. And I think you'll really see that like if you live there and you were enthusiastic about changing your whole life and going there, that there are actually some really lovely parts of these counties and that they're all a joy to live in if you have this enthusiasm about going and starting your new life where you've lots of spare money because your mortgage payment is, what, maybe two or three hundred euro a month. So have a look online. Have a bit of fun, you know, just look at the places you never would have dreamed of. And if you want a little bit more detail on some other counties, just leave me a little comment below. And yeah, and we'll see, can we do another video soon?